Hello, everyone. Welcome back to my channel. Man, I just jumped right into that. <laughs> okay, um, today I am I am Jennifer Miller, also known as Amethyst Winters. I am a mother, co-parenting. I am an author, and I am a makeup lover. This is my um, another first impression. I bought uh, quite a few palettes over the past six months. Yeah, from about January to now. And this is my first impression of, and I'm really happy about this one, but um, let's get into it. Uh, the Blush Tribe Pastel Tribe Palette. Pastel Tribe? Yeah, Pastel Tribe Palette. Um, this is what she looks like. She's absolutely gorgeous. She comes with a nice little mirror. She's absolutely gorgeous. I just think those go those colors are just beautiful. Just screams my name. Screaming loud. Screaming. Can you hear it? Yep. Uh -huh. Okay. Um, she uh, just just beautiful and really sad just to say it that she is out of business and that I missed on all the others. But you know what? I got this one. I am happy about that. And I hear she is going into business uh, elsewhere as you know different name <coughs> cannot wait i am there i hope um through my friends i am i am found out more later than a, or sooner than a year because i love this i love this i've known about blush drive for probably a good year yeah a good year but it was always on my mind name rents name rents and it wasn't until probably the past six months that i've been into more um indie brands so that is why i have already primed my eyes with the white elf paint pop thing and i like it in white and especially because these colors are going to look vibrant in white so or on white i should say so yeah on white definitely on white oh excuse me it has one it kind of looks like a pressed glitter but i don't think it is i don't think it is but so we're gonna call it a shimmer. It's got one, two, three, four shimmers, and the rest are mattes. <clears throat> I have done many cool tone looks, so I'm kind of leaning toward the warm tones. However, three of those shimmers are in. Excuse me, are in um cool tones. So, although <clears throat> I'm learning, just because it's pink doesn't make it warm. It depends on its on its base, but this one kind of looks more warm toned to me. <clears throat> Excuse me, but I think I think I love I love doing contrasting shades. So like if I'm gonna do feature a um if I'm going to feature like a blue look with with a warm if i'm going to feature like a blue lid i'm going to use a warm toned up on the crease so what i think i'm going to do is even though it's a bit of a shimmer i'm going to go in i think i'm going to go in with I believe it's called Nat. My eyes are horrible. This shade right here is a bit of a shimmer, but I'm going to put that in my crease. <laughs> I will say this, spoiler alert, I ex from what everybody has said, I expect this to be the mom, and I do not expect to be disappointed at all. And I say that lovingly because... I'm serious when I say I don't expect to be disappointed. I'm going to use my new Peachy Queen brush. I believe I kept this in the wrapper on purpose, and I think I've used it once. But this is a big fluffy brush, which is kind of what I want. Oh, yeah. Okay, this is probably going to be very pigmented. And I just want a wash of color in there. I will link it in the cards. Maybe not. <laughs> you know me. A lot of times I just stick these up and don't do much editing at all. Um, if I manage to edit, I will put it in the cards. 
Um, but I just did a collab with the beautiful, oh my, sh she's so graceful and elegant and I just think she's so pretty. Oh my gosh, she is so pretty. Ooh, sorry, bad tooth hurting like I took some pills already and it is not helping that great. So I may not talk a whole lot as I talk a lot. But we just did a collab, a Cool Tone collab. We called it Cool Tone Lovers Unite. And I thought that was such a cute title. She came up with the title. I am horrible at titles. I'm an author and it is every book I've ever written. I think I've changed the title six times. <laughs> And I wrote in 20 books, so go figure. I always had the gist of the story. Now, if I could go in reverse, we might actually get someplace. But my thing about going in reverse is I probably get the gist, or I probably get the title great, but then it totally goes a complete different direction than the title. And that's happened a couple of times, so. <laughs> but yeah, if I could get the title going, I would be great. Um, I am near to done with my current um, book that was supposed to be completed last year at this time. Last year at this time. <laughs> but it is very close, finally. <clears throat> now I just have to wait on financing myself, you know, just money to go take care of it, if you will. And then it will be published. I am going to go in, ooh, yes. Imrana. I believe it's called Imrana. This nice, pretty orangish yellow shade. Kind of like a peachy shade. And I am going to get a flat brush. Gotta make this one out of you. Oh, oh, this one will work. My goal is to clean my brushes this weekend too. But I am doing like six videos over the course of the three-day weekend that I have so I can get a head start and not get behind. And then I'm going to go into Onika. It is now July 3rd. Happy early 4th of July, everyone. And I am off my no buy. I only made one purchase during the month and that was for a collab, which honestly didn't even get here in time. Kind of disappoints me because it was for the collab that I bought it. And I already did the video for it and it's done. It's gone. <laughs> I'm like, yay. Ooh, those two colors look really good together. I'm a weird one. I don't do what normal people do. <laughs> I do not. But I am gonna use this brush again for that, that shimmery shade, that golden shimmery shade. It's good that, 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 even though it's a shimmer, that that sheared out quite a bit. <clears throat> First time using it, loving it. I will say it's a tad bit of kick up, but that is 99% of the palettes I own. I would say 100, but I do not, I can't guarantee every single palette has done that, but I'm pretty certain every single, single palette has done that, yep. Okay, I am going to get something to spray this with. Hold the phone. Okay, I'm back. Hopefully this doesn't hard pan it. I'm doing the edges just in case because I just realized you're supposed to put it into it, then spray it. Oops, I am horrible. I'm doing the other eye first. Isn't that weird? Sorry, probably only to me, but Uh, 
Yeah, finger girl. I'm gonna, I know, and I think Samantha Marge, and I do love her, she's awesome. She is one of the first smaller YouTubers I started watching, and then I started, you know, watching smaller and smaller and smaller. <laughs> and now I'm just only watching anybody basically under 2,000. <laughs> That's just, and even some of those 2,000 people are growing and I still watch them, but still, no, I just stopped watching any of the big ones. Once in a while, I might pop in, but anyway, um, she does not do the whole finger thing and I'm just like, well, you do you, I'll do me. And we'll just meet somewhere in between. I will say what I love about Samantha is she, um, she does, um, that is definitely different. That is definitely different. I like that though. It is different. I have to say those two colors are definitely contrasting. I messaged her once and you know, I'm not gonna hold her to it. But I asked her, I said, would you be against doing a collab with a really small YouTuber? I, or I said something like, do you, basically that's what I said. I think I used different words, kind of like, are you against doing collabs with small YouTubers or something like that? And, but she's like, absolutely not, absolutely, you know, of course she would. And I was, I, that impressed me because she's an, almost at 100,000. She's at 95,000 and she is humble enough to know her, her, where she started. <clears throat> she moved up pretty fast. She's only been on YouTube like four years and she's near a hundred thousand. And I mean, that is pretty fast. But again, she just, she knows, she knows where she came from. And I love that about her. She has, I've commented on a lot of her videos I think I'm going to, I was going in with Tanya, but I think I'm going to go in with Sheridan. It's a pinky shade, but it's a bit deeper. I want to deepen that outer be just a tad. <coughs> but she knows, yeah, she knows who she is. And she knows to be grateful for what she has. Um, if I commented on a video now, would she still respond I don't know you know she may know who her loyal followers are and she may be like you're not my loyal follower <laughs> and she would be right I am not not anymore and it's not thin against her it's time um one day if I can ever find a way to quit my job I'm working on it um I don't dislike my job it's too exertional it's too physical my body cannot take it anymore. I am nearing 50. Um, I'm still a few years away, but I am nearing 50. And definitely, let's just say by 50, I plan not to be working there anymore. But I like that. That is different. Boy, you can't say I don't do different. <laughs> um, she, um... Oh, when, sorry, train of thought, when I am finally, I still want to blend those together. I don't want to blend out the um, dark one. It's gonna, it's gonna pull together. Have a little faith in me. <laughs> ah. A little more gold. A little more gold. There. Yes. Okay. <clears throat> but, um, if I can finally find something that pays me better and faster, where I can only work at it like three days a week, then I can do this and watch more 
videos and have time for more. So that is my goal. <coughs> that is gorgeous. We're not done with it yet, Jennifer. Get it back out. Okay, sure. I like it. It's a little different, but I like it. Okay, I'm gonna go off camera and finish my makeup. It always looks darkest before the dawn. Trust the process. Hopefully. This is the finished look, actually. It always pulls together towards the end. I took that, um, I believe, I don't remember. <laughs> it is called Sheridan, that's right. I took Sheridan underneath and I, um, in my waterline is a cosmetics, uh, bye bye, or anti tuck liner. And um, I also, that's about it. That's from the shadows. Um, yeah, it pulled together. It pulled together nicely. I like it. I like it. It isn't my favorite look, but it's not bad. It's more operator air. It's pretty much operator air. <laughs> but, so, as far as the palette, the palette is beautiful. The colors blend, the shadows blend wonderfully. The mattes are pretty. And they are pigmented. Now, here's, do not go hating to me in the comments. Please don't give this a thumbs down just because you don't like what I have to say. If you give this a thumbs down, make it because operator error, not because you disagree with me. Sorry, I keep looking in the mirror. Okay. The thing is, this is a gorgeous palette. Here's my problem with it. It is not with the performance of the shadows at all. It is instead with the, not the layout. I guess it would be called the layout. The, just the, the choices of shadows, there are, there, they are all beautiful. But instead of maybe having all these pinks, I would have rather had a darker, something or other or instead of all these greens i would have rather had a dark something or other also um a light shade for the inner inner corner and for a highlight brow bone shape and instead i had to go outside of it to do the brow bone and for the inner corner now to darken it i just went ahead and used this and it did darken it a smidge but i like a dark inner or outer corner I like that look. A lot of people like that look. A lot of people do that look. With this, it is possible. I could have gone to the pinks and then to this one, and that would have worked. Or I could have gone to the yellows and done the green outer corner, or even this one, even though that's a shimmer, and that would have worked. But I think to make a palette versatile enough, you need to have that dark outer corner to that, um, <clears throat> the dark, that dark shade for the outer corner and that light shade for the high, for the brow bone and for the inner corner. So as a whole, it is a great palette. Um, definitely worth the buy. Definitely, you know, obviously you can't get it no more, but as far as like is it travel friendly I just don't think so I would have to take something else with it I would have to take this and something else but is it worth it to have in my collection absolutely oh heck yeah they they're beautiful I mean I really love this look even though <laughs> sorry spit on myself even though I kind of have to close my eyes to see the orange it's just orange peach, whatever you want to call it. It's just really pretty. I like it. I like it a lot. So, I mean, the palette itself, I give a A minus. Um, not that I'm grading none of them, but that was just a note I wanted to make. Again, please don't hate me in the comments. This is just my own personal opinion or my own personal use, my own personal experience. Yours may be different. Maybe you could care less about in the upper in the inner corner maybe you're like i don't care if i use another ballet I mean, to toss it in there that's just my opinion that's all okay 
Thank you so much for watching. Um, I appreciate every single last one of you for watching, for subscribing, for commenting, for all of that. I appreciate it so much. And um, don't forget to comment, subscribe, like, all that YouTube stuff. Um, yeah. So that's it for this video. I will hope to see you in my next one. Everybody have a great day and thank you so much for watching. Until my next video. Bye.